Hello friends, today we will learn about coal. <laughs> you are playing here with these rock pieces. Have a look at your palm. It looks black. Don't worry, it's just the black color of coal which will fade out after washing. Let's see what coal is. Coal is a rock-like fuel that was formed from ancient dead plant matter buried for millions of years beneath the layers of Earth. I will show you how coal was made. Around 300 million years ago, the Earth was covered with vast and dense forests. Natural events like earthquakes, floods, and storms buried this vegetation under massive layers of soil and sediment. The buried plant matter was compressed and exposed to increasing pressure and heat deep underground. Under these intense conditions, the dead vegetation slowly transforms into coal, a process known as carbonization. Coal is considered a fossil fuel because it is derived from the remains of ancient plants that lived millions of years ago. This coal looks a lot different from this one. Let's have a look at the main types of coal. Lignite. This is the lowest rank of coal, often called brown coal. It has the least amount of carbon content and energy. Subbituminous coal. It is a dark brown to black coal. It's a relatively low rank coal used mainly for steam electric power generation. Bituminous coal. This black colored coal is a dense black sedimentary rock that was formed under high pressure and heat making it rich in carbon and good for electricity and steel production. Anthracite. This hard, brittle, and black lustrous coal is used as a high-grade domestic fuel. It contains a low percentage of volatile matter and a high percentage of fixed carbon. People do not have unlimited coal because it is a non-renewable resource meaning it can't be made again quickly or easily. Most of the world's coal deposits were formed in the Carboniferous period because during that time, there were vast and swampy tropical forests which led to a massive accumulation of plant matter. If coal runs out in the coming 100 to 150 years, the global economy which relies heavily on it for industry and energy, will face some difficulties. But people will use more renewable energy sources like solar, wind, hydropower, and geothermal energy along with natural gas, biomass, and nuclear energy. Coal is the most carbon-intensive fuel. Therefore, phasing it out is important to limiting climate change. Not only this, there are severe health effects caused by burning coal. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.